is uh, Dr. Munzer Kassab, and I'm the program director for the neurology residency and the chairman of the Department of Neurology at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. Uh, it's true that our program is new, but our faculty aren't um, strange to the idea of teaching and um, you know raising up residents in the right way. Uh, most of our faculties have um, years and years of experience in teaching residents and medical students. And uh, we are accepting this challenge as a new program. We want to create a name for ourselves in the future, and we want to make everybody proud of graduating competent physicians to the community. My name is Dr. Thurman, and I'm the Associate Program Director for the Neurology Residency Program. Each resident will be assigned a mentor, and I think that this is important. This is the faculty member that you can go with and helps you with your individual growth. And of course, uh, on every rotation that the residents are here, they will have direct supervision 24-7. We value um, resident education, and that's why we feel that it's very important that during didactics, residents are not called off to attend um, to patients on the floor and that they're covered so that they will feel confident that they can get the education they need. My name is Dr. Megan Stevens and I'm a vascular neurologist and I will be working with the residents on the outpatient side in clinic with a special focus on stroke. So Erlanger, the College of Medicine, UT Chattanooga, is a hospital that's been designated a comprehensive stroke center, which means that it can accommodate all aspects of stroke care from the most basic presentation to the more, most complex presentation of stroke. So we have neurosurgery, neurology, neurointervention, we have a neuro ICU, and we have a robust research program as well. We are involved in a variety of studies looking at new devices and treatments for continuing to optimize stroke care. For a comprehensive stroke center, we have gotten extra special recognition the Goal Plus recognition for very fast door-to-needle times for IV thrombolytics and IV thrombectomy. And we also had special recognition for post-stroke diabetic care. I'm Dr. Jake Hayes-McKay and I run the EEG lab here. I'm the EEG lab director and I'm also the neurology clerkship director for the medical students and other uh, residents who rotate through from family medicine or um, internal medicine. Chattanooga itself is amazing. You know, it's a great quality of life to live here. There, there's so much to do in terms of outdoor sports, and I think it will provide the optimal life, uh, you know, escape for residents who are otherwise busy working in the hospital and provide a great work-life balance. Whitewater kayaking, it's so fun. You have the Ocoee nearby. I go out there all the time. It's great. Rock climbing's huge here. There are an abundant um, amount of locations. You can do that within 30 minutes to an hour from, from downtown and also hiking, there, there, there's a ton you can do hiking and camping in the region in the Cherokee National Forest nearby. So this program will be a great educational opportunity but also a great life opportunity for the residents to get to do all these things and live life to the fullest while they're in residency. So that to me is a huge part of the attraction of coming to Chattanooga. If you're an outdoors person, can't beat it, so. My name is Dr. Chelsea Sugars. I'm one of the neuromuscular faculty on staff and I'm involved with teaching residents and helping with the residency program. So at UT Erlanger, we have the region's only accredited neuromuscular and electrodiagnostic lab, which means we offer um, a range of state-of-the-art technologies to help diagnose and provide care to our patients. Um, we have state-of-the-art technologies including neuromuscular ultrasound, um, which create a lot of great hands-on learning opportunities for residents um, coming into the program. We also offer state-of-the-art modalities including single fiber EMG, diaphragmatic EMG, autonomic testing, and skin biopsies, as well as chemo denervation for cervical dystonias and spasticity. So we offer a wide range of services, which would be a really great opportunity for the residents joining our program. I'm uh, James Fleming, so I trained at Vanderbilt, um, just a little bit further west of here, and I fell in love with the mountains of Chattanooga and the hospital, and I've been here about eight years. Of course, I'm biased, but I think neurology is the most exciting subspecialty that you can possibly be involved in. There's a lot of interest in exploring the, the solar system, but honestly, the real mysteries are in the human mind, especially with the emergence of artificial intelligence. There will be a renewed interest in, in neuroscience, but the main problems will be solved by clinicians like you. Just like the Human Genome Project didn't solve 
all of the medical mysteries of the early 2000s, AI is not going to solve the problems of the 2020s. You're going to solve those problems with our help. And what you should be looking for in a residency program is a group of teachers that are willing to engage you daily and help answer your questions, challenge you with patience and didactics that can help you see the full spectrum so that you can have the information needed to, to step out on your own, sure-footed into the world.